Today's job involves one of my favourite tracks, it's Brands Hatch, a place where I grew up with my nose pressed through the fence watching race bikes. And we're actually at a pretty special event. We're here to test two R9T race bikes built by Pier City Customs in the south of England. And we're here on the Bike Shed Track Day, a track day haven for everything weird, wonderful, and things you just never expect to see on a racetrack. So what are we testing? Well, you've all heard of BMW's R9T. It was a bike that BMW built specifically to be customized, to be modified. Now, most of those have been taken in the scrambler direction. There's a bit of cafe racer culture around them. But my favorite thing is bikes being ridden and ridden hard. And the guys at Pier City Customs have built two bikes, one more road orientated and one an out and out racetrack bike for being thrashed, for being abused around a racetrack, scraping cylinder heads and frazzling tires. And that is something I've got time for. This is the Bike Shed track day. Now, Bike Shed, if you've not heard of it, you might have been living under a stone if you're in the motorcycle world. Bike Shed is a, a meeting place in London. It's a cafe in London designed for bike customizers and people who enjoy bikes. You don't have to have a custom bike to go there. And it's not that old school custom culture of denim jackets, mullets, and raked out choppers. It's kind of this new wave of people riding and enjoying, sometimes modifying, sometimes not, but just enjoying motorcycles. It's actually a very inclusive place and it's something that anyone who likes bikes, you'd love to go to the Bike Shed Cafe in London. Now around that, they've built this whole culture of events, races and track days. This is the Bike Shed Track Day. It's a place where you don't need to have an S1000 RR on tire warmers. You don't need to have a support van and trailers and 18 sets of tires. It's a place where you can come on your strange hand-built cafe racer. You can come on a R9T race bike. You can turn up on a Multistrada with knobbly tires. This place has got everything you can imagine out on track and a really good vibe to it. No one's sneering at what everyone else has bought up. It's just a brilliant track day with a really relaxed vibe. Every bike you can possibly imagine. So that wasn't a, uh, a normal riding day for me at Brands Hatch. I must admit, I'm a big fan of custom bikes. I'm a big fan of modified bikes, cruisers, everything in between. But normally what I find lacking in custom motorcycles is a lot of usability, particularly in terms of performance and in terms of track racing. There's loads of beautiful looking bikes out there. It's not so often you find beautiful looking bikes that are also designed to go on track. The Pier City Cycles guys, that's what they do. They, they are track people. They love racing. They just happen to be able to build cool bikes as well. And the two R90s we rode today ticked that box massively. So first up, I'm going to talk about the more road biased one. So this is the one that's got license plate, registration plate, number plate, whatever you want to call it. It's got working headlights, working front and rear lights, and isn't quite set up so extreme. First of all, the riding position still is. The riding position is still low wide clip on bars, still got the rear sets on it that Pier City do. So you kind of feet are up behind your bum, which at road speeds is much, much less comfortable. It's not, it's not a super comfortable bike. So maybe they've nicked a bit of the R90s road vibe there, but it meant that on track, you were in a really nice position to ride hard and fast. That brilliant engine of the R9T, that old school, oil air cooled boxer. You can run a higher gear, especially at Brands Hatch Indy Circuit, which is kind of a bit of an awkward track for gears in a couple of places. You can run that higher gear, ride the torque out of the corner, and it made it really, really good fun. The suspension work they've done on that bike, they've put a BMW S1000 RR internal in the fork. So it's the standard fork body with the RR internals. And then they've put the uprated rear shock on as well. That gives it not an out and out track performance setup, but it gives it a setup that works well on track, but you can feel that on a fast flowing A road, it's also gonna be actually the kind of the sweet spot for making a sporty version of an R9T. The bike that I really raved about today, the bike that I wanted to do the most sessions on was the PCC kind of race bike. They, they've got this idea to do a fair bit of racing on, on the Boxer, on the R9T Cafe Racer bikes. They raced the Cafe Racer Cup last year at the Bike Shed Festival. Did really well on it as well. Honestly, it was such a fun track bike. I've spoken quite a bit on various bike reviews about the difference between an out and out performance and a good track bike, one that's gonna set you the best lap time and one that's gonna put the biggest smile on your face. I've mentioned it quite a few times in the KTM Super Duke 1290. That thing is awesome. It's not gonna set the fastest laps in the world, but it just puts a smile on your face. Now this PCC R9T race bike, it did the same thing for me. No, it was never, ever, ever gonna set the world on fire in terms of pace and lap times, but as a fun track bike, as a bike to turn up with to a track day, 
or even a race and enter a weird class. It was bloody brilliant. It was just so much fun. They've put an even higher spec front fork in it. So they've used some of the BMW S1000RR legs and then put a proper upgraded cartridge kit in them. Again, the uprated rear shock. They've got an ignition box on it. So they've remapped to suit the fact that it's got no air box and it's got the big cone filters. It's got a freer flowing exhaust. It's got a quick shifter. Again, clip-ons, the PCC rear sets. They've done a lot of small bits of development all over the bike, stuck some proper sticky track tires on it. And what they've come out with is something that is genuinely brilliant fun to ride as hard as you want round track. It became not about lap times, but about just how fast could I make that bike go and enjoying riding it, enjoying riding a big boxer engine bike fast on track, constantly being surprised at just how hard it pulled and and how well it's stuck in the turns. It's never, ever, ever gonna win a World Superbike Championship, that bike, but if you want something that's different, if you want a custom bike or a cool bike that can be used on track, that is a hell of a way to go, and I definitely would love to ride it again, please. <laughs>
building their own stuff and doing parts but you guys do custom bits as well is that kind of the big bit of your business small bit of your business or is it a bit of 50 50. i'd say it's, it's it's sort of fairly 50 yeah, 50. Yeah, we've got a website cool. where where we curate basically the, the best products that we find that we want to you know sort of punt out to other people because we can highly recommend them we won't get anything on that we think is crap no. Stu took it upon himself to start doing parts that when we were creating bikes we were like oh man it'd be so much better if we could just grab one of these off the shelf mm, and that's, sure. that's yeah. what you've started doing yeah. yeah well the the, like our go-to, our sort of OG mod is the airbox removal. Yeah. So P6 cycles and the use of the R9T came out of that one mod. The yeah. mod came before the bike almost. The bike was already there on the market and I knew what it was capable of, but the mod came first and then it was like, oh, actually, if we do this mod, let's make it so it's a kit form and then we can start selling it. And then off the back of it, that's like, well, if we're selling stuff, we need a shop to sell it. And then if we're doing it we need a workshop to do it they run tutorials where people bring their bikes in and get your expertise you to, to modify oh mate look at that i love crossfit you guys we, love you more. <laughs> <laughs> we are finished at psc cycles no one takes things seriously around here which i absolutely love genuinely it's been really nice to see customs and racing all in one place the passion for building bikes that are good looking and fast is something that I've got a lot of time for. I'm not sold on CrossFit or Hipster Coffee yet, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Bye. 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 See ya.